Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about ACTH Cusentropin simulation tests. This is how we will approach the test. First, anatomical remainder of the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Second, principle of the test. Three, technique of the test. Four, interest of the test. And five, result. The hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis is made of three glands. Hypothalamus, anterior pituitary, and other adrenal cortex. The simulation, the simulation of the anterior pituitary from the hypothalamus came from CRH. And the simulation, the simulation of adrenal cortex from the anterior pituitary co come from ACTH. Through stimulation, hypothalamus send a stimulus by CRH to anterior pituitary. A second stimulus is coming from anterior pituitary to adrenal cortex by ACTH. And there is a negative feedback from the adrenal cortex, from cortisone, to anterior pituitary, and the second feedback negative to the hypothalamus, by cortisone, of course. What is the ECTF cosentropin stimulation test? The pituitary, as we said, is a gland like a pea-sized gland located at the base of the brain. It produces many types of hormone, including the ACTH, adrenocorticotropin hormone. ACTH stimulates the adrenal gland to release two hormones, cortisol, metabolism of nutrient, bone, nervous, and circulatory system, bone, nervous system, circulatory system, the heart, the liver, and the digestive tract. The second hormone is adrenaline or epinephrine. Adrenaline and epinephrine or epinephrine is for fight and flight. Two hormones, cortisol and adrenaline or epinephrine. Technique. First at all, we take a first bl blood sample drawn before the injection, before the injection and we measure the cortical level. A sample to measure the, the, the cortical level. Then, 60 minutes later, we give the ECTF or corticocentrum 250 microgram of ACTF. One hour later, we have the second blood sample drawn after the injection, and we measure the cortical level. We measure the cortical level before the injection, we measure the cortical level after the injection. Between both injections, there is one hour. The result, if the level of cortisol is low, that means acute adrenal crisis, Addison disease, or hypotituitary.
I repeat, two blood samples, the first one before the injection and the second one after the injection. At any sample, we measure the level of cortisol. The level of acetage given is corti of, uh, or corticocentron is 250 micrograms. If the second sample of cortisol is low, that means there is acute adrenal crisis or Addison disease or hypopituitarism. Normal cortisol level should rise after the injection. Blood cortisol level below the acceptable range following simulation simulation are considered low. This abnormal result on the ACTH simulation test mean adrenal condition, acute adrenal crisis, Addison, Addison disease or hypopituitarism. Addison disease, asthenia, anorexia, hypotension, hypoglycemia, digestive disturbance, disturbance and depression. Asthenia, anorexia, hypotension, hypoglycemia, digestive disturbance and depression. There is no skin symptom in hypopituitarism. Hypopituitarism is primary addition without melanoderma plus primary hypothyroidy. What is Primary hypothyroidy, dry skin, water, mood swing, depression, sensitivity to cold, constipation, bradycardia, hair loss, irregular bleeding, obesity, no lactation, and diabetes sensitivities. I repeat about hypothyroidy. Dry skin, water, mood swing, depression, sensitivity to cold, constipation, bradycardia, hair loss, irregular bleeding, obesity, no lactation, and diabetes sensitivities. Technique of the test, a remainder of the technique of the test. Two sampling of blood, the first one and the second one. We determine the level of cortisol for every sample. Between the both samples, we give an injection of corticocentrum, 250 microgram. 60 minutes later, we determine the level of cortisol in the second. Uh, sample. If the cortisol is low, that means there is acute adrenal crisis, Addison disease, or hypopirituitarism. Addison disease, asthenia, anorexia, hypotension, hypoglycemia, digestive disturbance, and depression. There is no melanodermia. Hypopituitarism, there is two diseases, Addison disease, without melanodermia and hypothyroidy. Hypothyroidy, dry skin, water, mood swing, depression, sensitivity to cold, constipation, bradycardia, high loss, irregular bleeding, obesity, lack, no lactation, and diabetes sensitivities. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to put the like button and subscribe? 
You will come on that very welcome. Thank you.